Hello, this is James Car Professionals, and today we got a vehicle in that has a check engine light. Uh, this car is a 2004 Ford Explorer V6 4.0. Now, the check engine light came on and it has a code, only one code, P0193. That code, as I'm punching up, is coming up. That code comes up as fuel pressure sensor circuit high. A. What that means is that the computer inside this car is sensing that there's high resistance inside that circuit for the fuel system, which reaches the exact pressure of the car. The car uses this fuel pressure to read back if the car is running low on gas, if the car doesn't have enough pressure to um, shoot enough uh, fuel inside, inside the cylinders to atomize the fuel ratio to give it performance and power. Um, as far as the code 193, we're going to diagnose this a good way today. I would call it a genius way today. And, and that way is different from the normal standard troubleshooting procedure that everybody else will probably take. You can spend two or three hours taking off the intake manifold because that's where the sensor's at. You can pull the wires off there, check for powers and grounds, you can actually ohm out the resistor, the uh, sensor at the same time, but we're going to try a different method today. We're going to use a scan tool as our testing tool to test everything. Because the sensor runs the fuel pressure, the scan tool allows us to see not only the fuel pressure, but the, also the voltage that the sensor is, is, is giving out to the computer. As the voltage decreases, the actual fuel pressure increases is inversely proportionate to the corresponding data. Uh, we're going to use a scan tool and we're going to find out exactly what's going on with this car. As I'm looking now, we have a freeze frame data which shows exactly the conditions of the car when the code was set. It's basically the best way is to look at that freeze frame data because you can actually see the conditions for what the car was under when the problem occurred. And during this car, we're looking at it, and it was 176 degrees Fahrenheit was the coolant temperature. Uh, also, the car's air temperature was 72 degrees at the same time. And it was under a load of 44%. 44%. What that means is that the car was probably traveling during acceleration or was going up a hill. That's what the load basically means. Um, we're going to bring you in closer to actually look at the data on the computer. So let's do that.